This in-service video will provide you with basic instructions for using the DST series EEA staplers from Medtronic. Always refer to the instructions for use packaged with the product for complete instructions, indications, contraindications, warnings, and precautions. The DST series EEA staplers are shipped sterile. Upon removal of the stapler from package, Detach the yellow shipper cap containing the tilt top anvil and the radio pack trocar accessories from the distal end of the stapler by pulling on the hollow tab. The DST series EEA staplers are supplied with both blunt and sharp trocar accessories in the 21 and 25 millimeter codes. The anvil is shipped with the blunt tip loaded into the center rod. If the procedure calls for the blunt tip trocar accessory, Place the tilt top assembly in the sterile field for later use. If the sharp tip trocar accessory is required, remove the blunt tip by pressing on the black button and pulling on the trocar tip while holding the anvil. Insert the sharp tip trocar accessory and place in the sterile field for later use. If the anvil is going to be placed laparoscopically, a suture tied through the suture hole at the distal end of the trocar accessory can aid in placement of the anvil, as well as facilitate easy removal of the trocar accessory from the abdominal cavity. If the trocar tip is not required for the procedure, simply revoke the trocar tip from the anvil assembly and place in the sterile field for later use. If the DST series EEA 21mm or 25mm XL stapler is to be used in conjunction with transesophageal delivery of the tilt top anvil, the corresponding EEA Orville device must be utilized. Always refer to the instructions for use packaged with the product for complete instructions, indications, contraindications, warnings, and precautions. Please refer to the EEA Orville Transoral Circular Stapler Anvil with Advancing Proximal Guide Suture in Service Video for detailed instructions on use. If a closed lumen or double stapling procedure is being used, a manual or automatic purse string can be utilized. Note, ensure the purse string suture has been applied no more than 2.5 millimeters from the cut edge to avoid excessive tissue within the closed cartridge. The tilt top anvil may now be inserted into the lumen and the purse string secured around the purse string notch. If the white trocar tip accessory has been utilized, it should be removed once the placement of the anvil is complete. This is accomplished by pressing on the black button and pulling on the trocar tip while holding the anvil center rod in place. The trocar tip accessory should be removed and discarded. The DST series EEA stapler is supplied with the integrated trocar completely within the confines of the cartridge, as shown. The DST series EEA staplers should not be used if the tissue is stretched or thinned out by introducing a cartridge that is too large for the diameter of the structure. Reusable sizers are available to evaluate the diameter of the structure to help in the selection of the proper sized stapler. To pierce tissue, the instrument is inserted into the closed lumen to be anastomosed, and the integrated trocar is extended by turning the wing nut counterclockwise until the tissue is pierced and the instrument trocar is fully extended. Ensure the integrated trocar is fully extended through the center of the existing staple line to avoid tissue bunching on the side of the center rod. Note, when piercing tissue with the integrated trocar, keep the puncture site visualized at all times to prevent inadvertent damage to surrounding structures. Once the integrated trocar is fully extended, ensure that the orange band is visible through the tissue to be anastomosed. This will ensure proper mating of the tilt top anvil and the instrument. Next, hold the grasping notch of the anvil with an instrument clamp. Mate the anvil to the instrument by pushing firmly until the anvil clicks into its fully seated position. Visually inspect the assembly to ensure that the orange band on the integrated trocar is completely covered by the tilt top anvil center rod. This will confirm that the anvil has been completely connected to the instrument. To approximate the tissue and to close the space between the cartridge and the anvil, 
turn the wing nut clockwise until it is fully tightened. Once fully tightened, ensure the green line located in the tissue approximation window is fully visible. Prior to firing the instrument, release the white safety lever. The safety will not release if the green line is not visible. Fully squeeze the handle until it comes in contact with the instrument body. An audible firing indicator and tactile crunch will provide additional feedback of firing completion. However, it is important to fully squeeze the handle to ensure complete firing. Once the firing is complete, release the handle and return the safety to its original position. Note, it is important to squeeze the handle only once to ensure proper staple formation and resection of the excess staple. As the instrument is fired, it simultaneously places a circular double staggered row of titanium staples and resects the excess tissue to create a circular anastomosis. To remove the instrument, turn the wing nut counterclockwise two full turns only, as shown on the instrument handle and graphic. Opening the wing nut two full turns will allow the tilt top anvil to tilt on its side for easy removal through the anastomosis. An audible and tactile indicator will be heard and felt once two full turns are reached. This will indicate the stapler is ready to be removed. Remove the stapler by gently withdrawing straight out of the anastomosis and inspecting the staple line for hemostasis. Twisting or turning while removing is generally not necessary as a result of the large lumen and tilt top anvil. Inspect the tissue specimens to ensure you have complete donuts and all tissue layers have been incorporated in the anastomosis. The DST series EEA staplers come in two separate shaft lengths. The 22 centimeter shaft is for open and colorectal procedures. A 35 millimeter shaft length is also available for laparoscopic procedures. Additionally, the DST series EEA staplers are the first circular staples with 3.5 millimeter staples on certain sizes. The 21 millimeter stapler, 25 millimeter stapler, and 28 millimeter stapler are available with either 3.5 millimeter or 4.8 millimeter staples. The 31 millimeter stapler and 33 millimeter stapler are available with 4.8 millimeter staples only. The staple length and instrument diameter is indicated on the blister lid, the instrument box, and the head of the instrument itself.